Uh, question number one, how do you ensure accuracy and efficiency in invoice processing? Okay, really good question and uh, critical to uh, running an effective and efficient accounts payable department. Now, don't fall under the misconception that if you automate the process, then you don't have to worry about this anymore. You, you do. Um, you will have introduced some efficiency and accuracy, but if you have not integrated all your strong internal controls into your automation process, then you could end up with you know duplicate payments or a phony invoice uh, slipping through. So take a, a little bit extra time when you're setting up your invoice processing to make sure that you have all the controls in place that you need and that you want to have there. Can you explain the three-way match? Okay, this is fundamental to the accounts payable process. And as many of you listening are aware, the three-way match involves matching the invoice against the purchase order and the receiving document. This, this makes you, this gives you the checks that you need to make sure that you got everything that you ordered, you didn't get too much, you got what you ordered, you got the right price, and that uh, you are not being billed for more than you were, uh, you're not being invoiced for more than you had ordered and you're not being charged any extra fees that you shouldn't. So for example, if the, the seller was supposed to handle freight, you're not being charged for freight. So the three-way match helps you weed out all these discrepancies. And then if the three-way match doesn't work, which it, it often doesn't, then you have to your processor has to investigate and resolve the discrepancy. And just FYI, fun little fact, the document that usually causes the most problems is the invoice. Okay, I'm not going to carry on a rant and rave about that, but um, it, that's, that is what it is. Okay, um, how do you handle disputes or discrepancies with vendors? Okay, following right along the three-way match question. And the, the answer to that is somebody is usually assigned to resolve the discrepancies. It is almost always the invoice processor. Now, now this makes me a little crazy. It doesn't really matter that it makes me crazy, but it does, because I always say the invoice processor is the person with the least amount of information about the whole process and yet they are the persons or persons who are being charged with resolving the discrepancy but that's how it is now in addition to this all discrepant invoices should be logged and ideally they're logged either in your ERP system which has some capability for this or the uh, accounts payable manager or one of the supervisors is logging this and then following up it's not enough to say okay we have the discrepancy send an email over to to the uh, supplier to see you know, maybe the price was, was wrong and then forget about it if they don't re respond. Somebody needs to keep on top of it because your goal is to get these discrepancies resolved before the due date so that you can pay on the, du on the due date and then um, you don't receive additional copies, okay? So that's what you wanna do. What, what can we do if we don't have enough staff for appropriate separation of duties? Now this used to be what we called a small company issue it's no more uh, as we use more and more technology we have fewer and fewer people in accounts payable and separation of duties becomes more difficult to achieve so when that happens you can do one of three things one of two things actually uh, one is you take one of the responsibilities and move it out of accounts payable um, typically we saw things like check signing being moved out and maybe responsibility for the master vendor file now my hope is is that we get to the point where we don't uh, have any checks anymore and so that check signing uh, is not an issue now most organizations will have the computer do the check signing except for checks over a certain amount and what that amount is varies from company to company so maybe this will become less of an issue but in all likelihood as we automate more and more more organizations are going to have to look into this the second uh, option that you have if you don't have somebody that you can uh, I don't want to say outsource because I I hate that word, but that you can give this uh, responsibility to is to install or incorporate compensating controls, which of course means more work, which is not what we're trying to do, but it is what it, it is what it is. Okay, what to do about vendors who send multiple copies of the same invoice? This is a real problem because multiple copies of the same invoice create extra work for your accounts payable staff, even if they manage to weed them out. 
um, it still takes time and effort to identify them and that's time that can be better spent on other uh, tasks. At this point we estimate about 25% of all invoices that are sent are duplicate duplicates and we need to wheedle this down. Now yes technology does help, automation does help to some extent, but there's still some human effort involved and we need to um, we need to address the issue. So you want to identify those vendors who are sending uh, multiple copies of the same invoice you want to talk to them yes I know that's additional effort but long term it, it, it saves you want to talk to them and you want to see if you can get them to stop if you can't if they continue to do it you might point out to them that their um, name if you will is going on a list of suppliers whose invoice is going to have to be double checked before they're scheduled for payment because of this and this could delay their payment now let's face it what they want to do is be paid on time so maybe it will help maybe it won't but you can try what role does automation play in the accounts payable process today and the answer to that is it varies widely some organizations are automated almost completely and other organizations are automated not at all so it just depends upon the organization but we're all moving towards a time when we're going to have more and more automation and even if you think you have no automation you may be using some without even uh, realizing it so realize that automation is coming into play there are more models available they are easier to use and best of all they're cheaper so I think we are fast approaching the point in time when only a few very small companies or a few companies that have very few invoices just because of the nature of their business um, are, are they're going to be the only ones who are not who do not have an automation solution okay how do you see emerging technologies impacting the accounts payable in the future and what are they okay so not surprisingly um, I see automation of the invoice processing um, as something that's going to become more commonplace in the accounts payable space I think it's already commonplace and along that line taking it one step further um, automation of the whole procure to pay process we've already seen on the purchasing side the automation of the issuance of purchase orders so that will all come together along with the uh, payment piece. That's, can you recommend a best practice philosophy for accounts payable? Yeah, and I didn't come up with this. I can't remember who did. Real simple, real basic, and we should all be doing it. Pay the right amount to the right vendor at the right time. Okay, very simple. Okay, and at the right time means not too early, not too late. I know sometimes a vendor will try and get you to pay them early. You might be tempted to do it, but don't. You work for your company. You pay them when you're supposed to do it. Pay them. Okay. We mentioned the proverbial three-way match earlier. We mentioned it actually several times, but we didn't go into it in much detail. Understanding this concept and how it works is critical to any accounts payable operation. That's why we've done several short videos on the three-way match, and we put them together in a short playlist, which you can watch right now. This with the link that has appeared on your YouTube screen and is in the description. Good luck.